Depression and authenticity. That's a really fascinating subject. Um, and the two intersect on an infinite number of levels, I suppose. Um, the main one, I suppose, I would be examining here would be um, how does authenticity contribute, possibly, to depression? In other words, I want to see things and myself the way they are, um, because the truth, even a painful truth, is better than uh, a delusion. That makes sense. I think that most people agree with that. However, again, if we don't agree with that, that's fine too. We can take that tack. But in this case, I'm acting under the assumption that the, the person that I'm referring to here believes that living an authentic life is preferable to living an inauthentic one. Living in step with the facts of life make more sense than, I don't know, deliberately denying them. Now, that of course has the effect, as all, I guess, discussions of authenticity do, of batting the ball back into our own court. How do we know when we're being authentic? That's, you know, the $64 question. <clears throat> um, I tend to put it this way, um, and this doesn't necessarily work for all people who suffer from depression, but an enormous amount of depression, or one of the biggest experiences of depression, is an enormous sense of loathing with one uh, of oneself. Um, almost a not even masochistic, it's a sadistic feeling of self-hatred. It's as though there's two parts of your character and one part is beating the living shit out of the other part all the time. Uh, and the other part that's the victim is more or less defenseless. Um, uh, there's no defense against the horrors of depression that one part of your character is visiting upon the other. That's what acute self-hatred is, uh, an acute sense of self-hatred that is underscored by a conviction that it's authentic of me to hate myself. Now, I guess you have to look at that uh, to that point of view. If, if there's some sort of subconscious um, impetus in that direction towards self-hatred, or this can actually work if you ask me when it comes to misanthropy as well. Because the feeling of hating everybody else is not, if you ask me, all that different from hating oneself. Um, the, you both, you, they both have certain things. They have th things in common, and one of the ones that I noticed that that that, that they have in common is, um, is this belief that either oneself or everything else is not what it should be. But. Is authenticity what we should be, or is it what we are? And depression, for me, in many cases, was a self-flagellation um, that was rebelling against, or trying to fight against, or resisting authenticity. In other words, I'm not what I want to be, and I won't accept that. But an authentic point of view is, I am what I am. So I would say that depression and authenticity are not necessarily synonymous. Um, one can assume that they are in many cases, um, because authenticity is a feeling, and so is depression, and both of them have a powerful sort of sense of reality underpinning them. Um, but the inauthentic can seem very real as well. I should no more hate myself for being exactly what I am, which is what self-hatred is, than a rock should be at war with itself for its rockness. 
it is irrational to expect oneself to be something other than what one is. This isn't to say that um, self-acceptance means that we abandon all the restraints that we've learned. No. In fact, one could argue that restraints and self-discipline are even more important in the authentic life. But what authenticity does with depression is it removes that horrific sense of self-judgment and judging others. It sort of says, what's the point of thinking that human beings are scum and then hating them for it? If they're scum, what else do you expect scum to act like? It's the same thing if you're at war with oneself. Okay, I, the, the, the depressed mind says, I have no value at all, I'm possibly evil, I'm horrible and selfish and all this kind of thing. I've done enormous harm in the world. Um, and it's authentic and honest of me to recognize that and to hate myself for it because I'm not what I should be. Now think about that. I'm not what I should be. I am or I am not. That's what I am. That's a reference to what I am. If I am fundamentally uh, not what I want to be, that means that I am am something else. What I actually am does not intersect with what I want, um, or what I want to be. Is it rational for me to want to be something that I am not? Um, I go back to the old thing written on Apollo's temple in Delphi, Gnothi se oton know thyself. Or Pindar, quoted by Nietzsche, become what you are. It, If you ask me, that's the authentic life, is to inwardly transform and to become what you are. Um, if you become that which you hate, well, that's just too bad you're going to have to deal with that fact that that's your nature. You're going to have to look in the mirror even if you don't like what you see because what you see in the mirror is what's there. <laughs> it's not what you want to see, it's what's really there. Again, you might find some stuff that you really don't like. Self-discipline will take care of that. Make sure that you develop a regime of self-discipline. Um, you shouldn't let go of yourself all at once. Um, becoming what you are is not something that should be undertaken lightly. But it's a way out of the authenticity trap where you sort of see the world as a bad place and it's authentic to accept that. Or that you f see yourself as deficient and it's authentic to accept that. Or you hate yourself and it's authentic for you to hate yourself or you hate others and that's authentic an, an, an authentic way to think um, not necessarily it may be illogical and you may know it's illogical and what's actually acting upon you is sublogical but your sense of logic is fooled by this I guess innate desire for authenticity this is a kind of a response to some comments by Too Many Minds, where he raised issues somewhat similar to what I'm exploring now. Um, depression and authenticity, there's enough in there for a thousand videos. <laughs> Scared you when I said that, didn't I? Uh, 